cracking and lifted sidewalks, creating a safety problem and destroying driveways. Yeah, it's a problem in most older Hillsborough County neighborhoods, and many homeowners, they want to know why it's taking so long to get them fixed. 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joining us live this morning in Riverview from a neighborhood that's currently getting its major sidewalk issues fixed. Yeah, you know, Caitlin, let's go ahead and jump right to the root of the problem, trees. So in many cases, developers either planted trees or left trees where they were standing and then put in sidewalks that were simply too close for the trees to continue to grow. And as the trees did grow, they would the roots would come up and lift up the sidewalks and cause problems. Well, here is the other problem. The county owns and maintains all of the sidewalks, more than 3,000 miles worth, and they're a little backlogged on their repair requests. We currently have over 2,400 open requests for sidewalk repairs that date back over 10 years, and that affects 900 neighborhoods across the county. Grant Friendsley knows all too well how long it takes to get a sidewalk fixed, even though it's ruining his driveway. I eventually kept pressing till they finally at least removed the one tree that I had a problem with. He owns a home in Lithia and has been filing service requests since 2018. The residents out here, there's not a lot we can do when you're talking about county property or county trees that are affecting county property. We understand that it's frustrating because we know there's a lot of people around the county that have been waiting uh, for a long time and it, it does come down to funding and resources. Friendsley did some minor fixes of his own on his driveway, but the real fix requires some major work that is ultimately the county's responsibility. You can't just leave it on the resident, especially when I can't fix my own area even if I could because there's gas lines underneath there. If, you know, I damage it, then it's on me. Unfortunately, with a limited budget, the county says it can only do so much, doing major repairs in about 15 neighborhoods a year. But they say they do respond quickly to all requests. So our crews can come out and they can perform sidewalk grinding where we have transitions that are uneven. They can grind down the concrete and help smooth those out and reduce trip and fall hazards. And then on any other areas that are more than they can repair, they'll put down a high visibility reflective tape. But it's definitely frustrating for homeowners like Friendsley. I realize there's a process. We just kind of want to know what the process is. Just tell us what the dates um, and the timeline. Don't say there's a plan in place. What's the plan? So the plan, according to the county, is to take the request as they came in, looking back at the one that's dated the earliest, and then they'll check out the entire neighborhood of that request. And if they can, they'll make it a capital project and they'll come in like they are here in this neighborhood and just do an entire neighborhood as it comes in. Like I said, though, they're only getting to about 15 a year. Now, the other issue homeowners are having is HOAs. A lot of times they're sending you notices and wanting you to fix your sidewalk. It is important that when you send in a repair request to the county, you keep a record of those things so that you can give it to the HOA saying, I've requested the repairs. And then if they continue to bother you, you can refer them to the county. And one more quick note I want to make, sidewalk repairs are part of the entire transportation budget for the county, something uh, they have been a little short on in past years. And that's why, of course, they're asking for that uh, tax referendum coming up in November. That would include doing more sidewalk repairs.